Hey guys, today I did my hair. This beautiful ombre box braids. I did jumbo box braids. Um, I used the rubber band method. And so I already had my braids done. So I used kind of like a two for it. You get to see how to do the rubber band method and then how to refresh in your hair if you've done the rubber band method before. So I already had my box braids in. I've been keeping my hair in box braids for a while just to I guess help my hair grow out and just I just did not feel like being bothered. I did not feel like doing my hair. I did not feel like touching. I didn't feel like doing it. anything. Anything. Didn't feel like combing it. Nothing. So I had been keeping it in box braids. I've just been changing up the colors or if I like the color just keep on refreshing it. So you can see how I did that today. Um, yeah, if you want to see it stay tuned and I'll make sure to try and leave a link to where you can purchase this hair and the brand that it is down below all right guys stay tuned and i was trying to shoot out the videos for you let me know what you want to see hey my rebels so let's jump right on into this tutorial i have these box braids in my head right now jesus and they look so terrible <laughs> I, this is gonna be my second time refreshing these braids um i think the first time i did it we were in a car ride from florida to huntsville and i'm just in the car just just refresh it so it could do me a little bit longer but now we're <laughs> heading back to huntsville again for someone's birthday and for an appointment so i just need to get it looking a little bit better to last me another like week or two until I finally decide to do something else with it. Uh, this hair that I am using is Bobby Boss. It is their King Braid brand. Uh, it says it's soft and silky and it has more hair and volume and it's a special color. The color that I have, it's like a three-tone um, ombre. So it goes from black to a shade of blue then it gets even lighter at the ends. That color is 3T1B slash BLLBL. For those of you who want to go ahead and try and find that, or if they have it at your local beauty supply store, even better. Um, I wasn't looking for that specific brand. I just knew I wanted something ombre, and I went to the store and saw that color. I knew I wanted blue, so we went with it. Um, this hair, though I may still use it again in the future, you guys, when I fully took this out, um, I was combing my hair out and everything. My entire hand was like turning black. It's like the black part of the hair, um, rubs off on your hair or so after a while. And so it's not, I guess the dye to make the hair black isn't completely soaked into the connecticalon strands or something, but either way it like left a residue, like a black film over my entire head. And of course, you know, I wet my hair so I could comb it out properly before washing it. And it just kept, it just had my whole hand black. I had to have a towel here just to just wipe my hands off continuously. So, I mean, it did give me that problem. You guys can let me know if you ever used this hair before, if it gave you that problem at all. But uh, it did give me that problem. But like I said, I'll probably still use it again and just take it out quicker than I did. So here I just pulled out the uh, rubber band that was in my hair. For those of you have, who have never used the rubber band method, it's just a simple, uh, a simple, um, well, what am I saying? A simple process of putting your hair into a rubber band first and then attaching the braid onto your hair that's on the outside of the rubber band. That helps ease the tension on your scalp. It helps to not pull and yank on your hair. Um, especially for me doing the jumbo braids, this makes it easier to go ahead and get all your hair into it. Can I do it without the rubber band yes but i just chose to try this method and i liked it and so i kept on doing it um so here you just see me combing out the product that i had in my hair that gets you know attached around the rubber band whenever you have any type of um rubber band or scrunchie in your hair it, the product just tends to build up right there you just get a spray bottle i think i have some leftover leave-in conditioner and shea butter and then in a bunch of water 
So I just use that to comb that out. Um, sorry, it's almost like I have a blank canvas to start all over with. Get out as much product as I can. Um, excuse me looking up to the side, you guys. I was watching uh, a couple shows. I was watching Three Sisters or The Sisters or something like that on Netflix and also Girl Boss. Amazing shows, the both of them. You'll see me looking up and me reacting to it a bunch of times because it, a lot of stuff caught me off guard. But that's what I was watching. Um, ch definitely check the shows out though. You guys will like it. Let me know if you do or you don't, what you think about it. So here I'm just checking my new growth because me having my hair grow out without getting a relaxer definitely was not planned. Um, I just do not feel, like I said earlier, like having to deal with it or bother, be bothered by it. So I've just been wearing braids or half wig, not half wigs, Lord, U parts, whatever, just to not have to finagle with my hair. So. I'm just checking out my new girl, admiring it a little bit or whatever. We got a little something going on. Edges coming back in. Thank you, Jesus. For the edges. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So, yeah, you guys can keep watching and I'll tune in whenever I think there's something that you need to know. Basically, what we're going to do after adding in some more uh, Shea Moisture to my hair. We're just going to add back or use some um, edge control. That's my even 24 hour edge control. My camera couldn't focus properly, Lord, but that's what it was. That's what I'm using. Go ahead and add that to our edges. Put a rubber band around our hair to whatever is comfortable for you. I like to have mine kind of tight, but I don't like it to be yanking on my edges too much. So I'll pull that out. Um, but definitely have it to where it's comfortable for you and you feel like it can make it last longer. What we don't want to do is get some brand new braids in our head and it looks like it's been there for two weeks. So get it to a comfortable tightness for yourself. And then you just separate the remaining hair that's outside of your head and then just braid over it like you would. But you want to make sure to focus on getting the braided hair over the rubber band so that you can conceal that within your braid towards on the back of the braid you'll still be able to see that rubber band but to the front you won't be able to see it and so that is the part that you want to make sure that you get um have that hair over the rubber band so that no one can tell the difference about what type of method you used or not Okay, and so here you see me separating the hair that's left on the outside of my rubber bands into three sections. You want your to try your best to have those to be three equal sections. Um, the way that I attached my braid, and there are many different ways in which you can attach your braid, but I attached mine um, with two strands of hair looped within each other. So then whenever I'm braiding, I will have three equal sizes. I hope that makes sense without me actually giving a full demonstration of how to set up your braiding here to get started. But if you need me to do that, I can always make a video on that. But so the way that I'm doing it is with having three equal sizes to my braid and I'm simply adding my real hair to each of those three equal sizes. I'm all right now I'm positioning it over the rubber band so that it can't be seen and then once you do that because you have three strands of your hair out and I have three strands of the braiding hair you just start plaiting downwards as you would so for those people who cannot uh, attach a braid or attach connect on hair to the scalp or who can't um, braid to the scalp if you know how to plait and if you need to, I can make a video of how to get the braiding hair together to this point to even start attaching it. I can do that. But if you know how to do that much, all you have to do now is just plait downwards. 
you don't have to worry about attaching it to the scalp you don't have to worry about making sure all the hairs are in and also pulling it tightly the rubber band is doing all that work for you you get the plait downwards and nice and tight and it's done it's almost a foolproof way of having braids And here you just see me checking to make sure I'm getting all of my natural hair into the braid. You know, sometimes you'll see little strands or ends of hair sticking out of the braid and we don't want that. So you wanna braid it as nice and tight as you can so that you don't have to go over and trim off any, any much of your hair with scissors or too much of your hair with scissors. But I don't really do that process. I just kind of skip all that because I'm gonna wear this mostly in a bun. So here you can see the before and the after sis, and that's what we're trying to get to. I'm trying to get that whole head to look like that one braid. Okay, one sec. Oh, my husband popped in to check on me, y'all. He said he liked my eyebrows. I had to show them off real quick. <laughs> but here, I'll just do it again for you guys so you can see the process again. And as I said before, I'm reusing the hair that I'm taking out of my head. So I'm not doing a lot of the initial work that I did in the beginning, which is like the, you know, feathering of the hair, the separation of the hair or looping it the way that I'm the loop method is the way that I'm attaching this hair to my head so me putting it in that position I'm not showing any of that um, because I already did it I'm just reusing the hair but like I said if you need me to show how I did all those things I have absolutely no problem doing that for you guys So you just want to comb out all that product that was in your hair before that tends to make a ring around where you have the rubber band placed. Um, the best way to do this is to start from the bottom and work your way up. Use some sort of, I use water to give my hair some sort of slip um, so it's not so dry when I'm trying to comb it out. But you're supposed to start from the bottom and work your way up. And I would do that if I was using doing this on one of my clients. but. As for just myself, you know, we, we don't always do the proper things on ourselves when we're doing our own hair. So, but you guys, that is the proper way to do it. Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top to get out any tangles or anything that you may have in your hair and to get the product out properly. One thing that I find, especially when we're doing some braids but keeping the same parting is that Somehow your part is no longer as straight as it was when you first put the braids or whatever it is into your head. So, especially in the front, whenever your um, edges start to pull out or, you know, when you start sleeping without wrapping your hair up at night and it gets a little fuzzy in the front and your edges aren't so laid or pulled into the braid, um, that can help distort the parting in your head. And so I just like to go back over and clean up those lines to make it look more fresh, more brand new, you know, give it an overall, ooh, you just got your head done, girl, look. So just clean up those parts. It takes all of two or three seconds, you guys. And I feel like it's easier when it's done that way because whenever you're scratching or itching your head, you're not worrying about, you're not hearing no snap, crack, or pop because there's some hair from a different braid leaning across your part and you can't do that properly without somehow ripping your hair a scratch properly without somehow ripping your hair so just put it all to the right side to the right braid it'll save you it takes a little i mean a little bit of time but it'll save you your hair save you your edges and once again i'm just admiring my new growth y'all listen i was natural for two years kinda because i didn't cut my relaxed hair off so I was just, I guess, just transitioning for two years. And when I finally did cut my relaxed hair off, I think I relaxed my hair maybe not even a month after that. So, I mean, I was like a baby natural list. Natural hair. 
have oh, that show. Everybody! Hmm? But I don't know. But I, I did it for two years, but not fully. I'm just admiring it now. I'm in this hair dilemma or in this hair funk. I'm thinking about cutting it all off. I'm thinking, should I relax it again? Should I cut off all the relaxed ends and just have that little teeny weeny afro and get it shaved up real cute or just shave it all off? I don't know. I have no clue. I'm still trying to figure it out. But what do y'all think? What do y'all think would be the cute hairstyle for me? I am literally asking anybody who's willing to have this conversation with me what they think I should do because I have no clue. I, everything that I just said I want to try. But... I don't know which one is the best route for me to take right now. Just, I am open to opinions, ideas, suggestions because I'm in such a hair funk and I need to get up out of this. Yes, I do. <laughs> now, I don't do much additional baby hairs when I do my braids. I try my best to just kind of swoop it into whatever braid I'm working with. I don't do much of like laying my edges down when I'm doing a process like this. My edges come kind of far into my face a little bit so I find just swooping it to the side is just real simple and easy for me. Um, majority of times I don't do that. But, you know, it's all up to you, however you like to do it. This is just the easiest way for me to do it, get it done, and make sure that it's all kind of tucked in in a way. And here you'll see me just pulling the front part of my edges out. It felt a little too tight. I'm just you know, holding it down with my fingers so it's not to hear anything rip or snap. And just, you know, pulling a little bit to loosen that front part up. And I'm separating my hair out into three so that you guys can see exactly what I mean about the three equal sides. And just imagine the braiding hair being just like that with three equal pieces. And we're just gonna line those pieces up with one another and start plaiting downwards. And making sure to A, cover the rubber band and B, tuck all our hair into the braid so none of that is poking out on the sides. And then you'll just want to continue that braid all the way down until the end. I try to braid as far down to the end as I can go, um, depending if I have nails on or whatnot. And then here you just see me positioning my hair into my favorite hairstyle when I have box braids or twists or anything, which is a high bun. And so I just try and spread it all out, all around my head evenly. And then I just grab up the hair, I roll it and I tuck it under. Make sure you get all the hair though. I've been known to like have one hanging out and not notice to leave. So just make sure, like right now. <laughs> so just make sure that you have all that tucked in. Um, and keep rolling and rolling and rolling it. With the hair being this long, you shouldn't need anything else to keep it uh, up, to keep it pinned up. If you roll and tuck it tight enough, it'll be able to stay up on its own. It's okay to go ahead and pull some of the braids out if it feels a little tight. That also, even though the rubber band method does help with, you know, your edges and your hairline and the tugging, once again, any manipulation with the hair can also make it tight. So just go ahead and manipulate that how you need to do it to get the shape that you need and to make sure that your hair is not pulling too tightly. Now 
we've reached the end thank you so much you guys for watching this video i'll come back with more but wait there's bloopers hello everyone welcome to my channel um hey hi everybody welcome to my channel i knew it 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 i knew it, I knew it. I knew it.